Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dirty. Uh, I'm back once again. And here, this is going to be my uh, Blu ray collection update number. What is this? Five, I think it is. I think this is number five. So, as you can see, I got a pile here. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go ahead and start, you know. The little review and we're gonna start off with Johnny Depp and Rango uh, this is a pretty cool movie here um, animated movie um, starring Johnny Depp and a couple of more um, actors and actress in this movie uh, this is a pretty cool movie has some funny parts in it jokes um, I think this is actually from Nickelodeon. I see Nickelodeon movies, so I don't think Pixar made this. I think it's Nickelodeon. So, check this out. This is Johnny Depp and Rango. This is a good movie. Funny. And uh, up next, we have uh, Tom Cruise, M.I. Mission Impossible Extreme Blu-ray Trilogy right here. Um, this, was, this is cool to have all the... Um, Mission Impossible, as you can see, you know, you got the first, second, and the third one. And I actually got this one from Best Buy uh, for 19, I want to say 15 or 19 bucks. So it wasn't bad just to grab the whole trilogy for, for that low price there. And you can see the fuse right there lit. And uh, at all the um, Mission Impossibles. I like three, two, then I like the new one that was out, um, Ghost Protocol, then Mission Impossible 1. Um, that's my order. That's the way I like, you know, the movies um, in that order. So, I mean, it, it's a good. If you haven't picked this up, pick it up. Um, it's good to have in your collection. Nice visuals. Um, the next one here, here we go, right here, Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible. This is... Uh, the latest one that came out this year and uh, this is a pretty cool movie good movie good action um, you see he's um, scaling the uh, skyscraper which was crazy that that scene right there was crazy uh, this is a good movie uh, pick it up y'all this uh, ghost protocol with your boy Tom Cruise and the next one I have over here is uh, the boondock sinks um, I haven't watched this movie yet, so I will be soon. Um, I heard good things about this movie. I heard it's, you know, it's a good movie. Some people say it's a fantastic movie. Um, on the back right here, as you can see, it say a um, cult phenomenon becomes spectacular Blu-ray experience. So, yeah, I get a chance to check this out and and see how good this movie is. I know they have a part two. But I got this one for like six, seven bucks. So I'm going to check this out soon. Next one we have is uh, Kick-Ass. I love this movie right here. This movie was funny. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Over the top. Um, as you can see, you have um, Kick-Ass itself right here. You have the uh, Red Miss. And uh, I forgot her name. The little girl in the movie but uh this is her father nicholas cage also plays in the movie and i can't remember her name um but yeah this movie right here was crazy it was funny i loved it when i first seen it i was like you know what i gotta get this on blu-ray um i heard they're making a part two so if uh you guys seen this and know how this one ended then i guess they're going to take it from there so I'm not going to leave any spoilers just in case anybody haven't seen the movie or not. But yeah, check this movie out. It's good. You get some laughs in it. You know what I'm saying? And you get some action. Uh, the next one on the list is uh, Casablanca. This is a classic right here. And uh, this is with uh, Humphrey Bogart. And uh, this was back in 1943. So... Yeah, this is a this is a good movie. I had a chance to sit down and actually watch it, and uh, it was pretty good. And the translations from um, 
standard DVD or VHS to um, HD is phenomenal. They did a real good job on this right here and translating this into uh, HD. So, if you guys haven't seen this, check this out. It's a nice look. Somewhat romantic movie. You know, it's pretty cool. All right, the next one we have is Going With The Wind. This is the 70th anniversary edition. And I haven't sat down and watched this one yet, Going With The Wind, but you know, it's a classic, you know. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't say really nothing too bad about this movie. Movie, you know, done back in the in the forties, you know. But going with the wind, I will be checking this one out too. Next one is uh, Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. I love this movie right here. Uh, this movie is wow. It's crazy, you know. Um, Morgan Freeman is about to retire, and uh, Brad Pitt is actually taking over for a homicide. And uh, they actually stumble up on this killer who's um, leaving clues and pictures, and so now they have to team up together and try to find the killer. And this was a this was a good movie. I, I love this movie. Next we have. Um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, this is a, I wouldn't say a remake. I guess you could say this is, could be more like a prequel to Planet of the Apes. Because this is actually showing um, how they act actually started. And it started with this uh, chimp right here, chimpanzee right here. And uh, I forgot his name, the, the, the chimpanzee's name in the movie, but... Yeah, he was uh, he was smart from what they gave him, and he looked like a real a real chimpanzee. All the monkeys in the movie, the apes and stuff, they they just look real. Um, even though they was computer animated, computer generated, they look awesome. And this right here was an awesome movie. I love this movie right here. Caesar, that was his name. Caesar. Caesar was a bad boy. <laughs> This boy was bad in this movie, and you gotta check it out if you haven't seen it yet. But check it out, it's a good movie. I don't know if you can hear some music in the background, but that's uh, Rick Ross, his new CD I'm playing. Um, checking that out. Just playing it, you know, in the house as I'm, you know, doing a little work and stuff, you know, cleaning up and stuff. And uh, that's his new CD, uh, God Forgives and I Don't. <laughs> that boy, he got a bad title for that, that CD. But uh, back to the movies. This here is the uh, Hangover. This is the uh, unrated, and uh, this is a funny movie. I love this movie right here, The Hangover. Hangover Two was good, you know what I'm saying. But it, it, it don't beat this one. It don't beat the first one. The first one was hilarious. I love this one right here. Very funny. Check it out if you guys haven't haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have. But you know, some people, you know. Probably still haven't seen this, you know what I'm saying? So, if you haven't, check it out. You're going to be laughing your ass off. This is this is good. Um, next, we have a uh, triple Blu-ray feature. And I actually got this one from, um, what was I? Walmart. I actually went in Walmart, just, you know, looking around at their Blu-ray, see what they had on sale, you know, whatnot. And I stumbled upon this. They only had one left, and... The flap on it was, you know, torn. I was kind of mad. I was like, man, they don't even have another one. So I was like, bump it. You know, I, I take it, you know. And the first movie you have is Twister. Uh, that's with the tornadoes. You know, they, they track in tornadoes. And they they uh, made a machine to actually read and see how tornadoes um, form. And to get the inside of a tornado because nobody ever seen the inside of a tornado. So that's what they was, you know, trying to do there. Um, the next one is um, Poseidon. Um, this is basically, um, as you can see, this nice little cruise liner was hit by a, um, what do you call them? Um, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, the, the boat was actually called Poseidon. But it was hit by a um, 
Uh, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it, it's just like a big wave, you know, like it, if you have a big enough earthquake in certain parts of the world, you know, it is it is shift underneath the ground and actually pull the water out to sea and then push it back. So I forgot the name of it. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, one of the countries had uh, one of those, you know, not too long ago, uh, a couple of years back. So. And the next one we have here is um, The Perfect Storm. This is with George Clooney. And I had never seen The Perfect Storm, but it was it was actually a okay movie. You know, it's not it wasn't too bad. Just to see these guys, you know, risking their life, you know, to um, bring in, you know, shrimps and crabs and all that, you know, just going out on that boat, you know, just, you know, to do fishing for for months on end, you know, it was it was crazy, but all three of them was good, and I think I paid what twelve? I think ten or twelve bucks for this at Walmart. So it wasn't bad for three movies, and they all on separate discs. So they all not on one disc. Twister got his own disc. Poseidon got his own, and um, the Perfect Storm has his own disc. So you don't have three movies pushed on one Blu-ray. Um, the next one we have is. Uh, Coraline. Uh, this is a Tim Burton's movie. Um, if anybody don't know who Tim Burton is, he's the one that um, does The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, he does the stop motion animation, like clay animation stop motion, which a lot of a lot of people don't do anymore. It's more computer animated, you know. But he still does the um, stop motion animation in clay. So, this is uh, Coraline. This is a pretty good movie. A little spooky for um, for um, little kids. Maybe like, you know, like three, four, and five maybe, depending on how they is. Um, and this is the um, two-disc collection. This has the regular 2D and 3D. And also has some 3D glasses in there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Has some 3D glasses in there. So if you want to watch the 3D one with the glasses or just the 2D, you can, which is cool. Alright, next we have this is a classic, and that's Al Pacino's Scarface Limited Edition. And this comes in a um, tin, which was cool. Um, I actually got this one for. How much was this one? I think this one was 19, 19 bucks at Best Buy. And uh, I haven't opened these. I guess these like some cards, uh, picture cards from the movie. I never opened them. Um, and there you have, you know, Scarface. And then underneath is the uh, original Scarface movie from the ooh I can't remember I think I, I want to say it was from the 30s or the 40s might have been from the 40s Scarface so it's a totally different this was more like a gangster um, movie and there you go with Al Pacino uh, I love this movie here this is a classic right here check it out Next is a movie a lot of people say they didn't like and some people say they did like it. And that's Sucker Punch. And I could say I actually liked the movie for what the you know the producer director was going for. Um I look at movies like this as over the top. You know, she was dreaming, you know, she wanted to escape, so she danced and while she danced, you know, it showed you that she was in another world, you know, taking on bad guys or whatever to get what she needed to escape. And I like the movie because of the action. Um, the picture quality was excellent. But just to see, you know what I'm saying, four or five females, sexy females at that, that's fine. Dressed in skimpy clothes with, with weapons, guns. I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, certain movies don't really need to have a big plot or to really get an understanding 
this movie right here, when I watched it, I know it was just for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Just to show the fine, sexy ladies, you know what I'm saying, doing gunplay, sword play. You know, so they wasn't trying to put a, a, a big storyline behind it to make any sense. It was just something to be like, hey, this is just entertainment. You know, sometimes we had those movies that's over the top. And that's what this is. Just an over the top movie. Nothing to really take serious and get all angry about. It didn't have a plot. Why well, didn't have a good plot? I don't like the movie. Look, it don't need a good plot. You know, that's all it need is the sexy ladies doing their thing, which is killing. So that's all you need. Uh, the next one we have is uh, Wanted. This is with Angelina Jolie. Uh, this is a good movie. And these where they can make bullets, you know, curve. They can make the bullets go around corners and stuff like that, which was a trip. Um, I haven't seen it in a long time, and you know, but from what I had seen back then, it was a cool movie. It was crazy how they can make bullets turn to hit people around the corner that they was shooting at. And the next one, to me, this is a classic right here, you know what I'm saying? You got Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, Bad Boys. Uh, this is a good movie, action movie, funny movie, you know what I'm saying? Check this out if you guys haven't seen that. But that's that's good. Um, and there you go. I don't know if they have part two on Blu-ray yet, but I will check just to have the, the second one. And now I done knocked all my Blu-rays down, so let me fix these up here. Alright. There we go. All right, next one is called High Tension. Um, this is the unrated version. This was a good movie. I like this movie. Um, this was made over in, like, uh, I want to say maybe France or some Europe. But it was a pretty good, cool movie. And it was like a killer came in into this house. And uh, he just started killing the family. And this girl right here, supposed to have been, that was actually visiting the family, the daughter, you know, to spend the weekend. And she was the one that was alive, and the, and the daughter of the family was alive. So she was trying to fight to save the girl. And it's a twist in this movie, and I don't want to give it away just in case people have not seen this. But if you get a chance, check this movie out, High Tensions. You're going to see the twist in this movie. You're going to be like, damn. Really? Yeah, check this out right here. This is a very good movie. Next movie we have is uh, X-Men. This is the first X-Men. I mean, this one right here had to grow on me. I still got problems with this movie. You know what I'm saying? And I think it could have been a little better. Especially the one part I hate in here is Mystique. Where they actually go into the museum. And Wolverine can smell her. Know that somebody's there besides them, and when they walk past this, this um, Statue of Liberty, life size Statue of Liberty, the eyes moved, and she looked at like the little statues that was you know sitting on the um, display, and I'm like, Mystique can't. She's a shapeshifter, but she can't shape herself into anything that's like hard. Like stone or rock, you know, she take human form, you know what I'm saying? If human shape, and that, that was crazy, that's what threw me off. I was like, you know what, I don't even like the movie now. And the next one we have is uh, X Men 2. This is uh, X Men United. Uh, this was pretty good, it was okay, you know. And the next one is X Men The Last Stand. Uh, they added a little more. X-Men in here, Colossus was in here, which was cool, but I, Colossus just kept it on um, Wolverine. Like, Wolverine, like, hey, throw me. Like, why don't you just walk over there? But this is an okay movie. I did not like the Juggernaut in this movie right here. Oh, um, man, I was so pissed when I seen the Juggernaut. Like, why didn't they just use computer generated and make the Juggernaut in his suit with the helmet? They got some big guy with a boulder on his head and like a big ass rock. I'm like, come on, like, y'all messed that up. 
Like y'all could have used computer generated and made him the size he's supposed to be because he was a he was a huge big guy in red with a red helmet on. They messed it up. I was pissed when I seen this guy playing playing the juggernaut. I was just I don't even want to talk about it no more because I'm getting pissed off all over again. And then next we have is um, ID4. This is Independence Day. Um, this is with Will Smith and uh, Vivica Fox. Uh, this is a good movie right here. I love this movie right here. So you, know, you see they blowing up the right house, <laughs> which was crazy. But this was a good movie. I know everybody probably done seen that. And last but not least, I have um, DreamWorks, The Whole Story. And this is the whole story of Shrek. As you can see, we have the bottom, Shrek 1. Then we have Shrek 2, Shrek the 3rd, and Shrek Forever After. So these are all, all four films together. And I got this for, I think I got it at Target for 40 bucks. It was like 39 bucks when it came out um, last year. So that's cool. I got all of them in one. So that's, uh, that's it. You know, for my um, Blu-ray for right now, I have one more to do, so better complete my Blu-ray update collection that I'm showing you guys, and um, hopefully I have some more um, Blu-rays coming in pretty soon that I can unbox for you guys. But this is Dirty, keep gaming, keep watching the movies, and I'm out, peace.